Red FM, hey, it's Robbie on FIFO Life, and I'm having a chat with Alex from Chesswork Group. Mate, how are you going? I'm well. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. I want to speak to you today about budgeting. Now, it's one of those topics that's really important, but let's be honest, people probably don't give it as much thought as they should. Yes, as boring as it sounds, <laughs> um, it is one of the basics that I think everyone you know, really needs to revisit. Even people listening there going, oh, yeah, I did a budget ages ago, five years. It's like, well, hang on, has things changed since then? You know, this is something that, you know, ideally you should be looking at at least every six to 12 months. Uh, And I know that, you know, it's not much fun, but once you've got a template and you know what you're doing, it can take probably around about 15, 20 minutes. Now, going over that budget, you're going to, you know, highlight things because the number one catch calls, oh, you know, I get all this money, but I don't know where it's going, Mm. you know, and, you know, it's it's that old saying, you know, money talks, but mine just says goodbye, you know. Yeah, mate, I was going to say, if we walked out into the office now, I reckon if you took a survey of 10 people, maybe two would have a budget and the other eight would just be like, I'm actually not sure where my cash is going. I reckon you're being generous. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even reckon two. You'd be lucky if one was, was actually on it. And the thing is, I mean, particularly for a lot of the listeners out there now, like, you know, FIFO workers on... On, you know, pretty decent incomes. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can be on 200 grand a year, but it doesn't really mean much if you're spending 200 grand a year. Yeah, you know? yeah. And the whole point of the exercise is to, you know, go through your budget, work out, you know, where your money is going. That's the first step, you mm-hmm. know, is to actually, actually understand that and know where it's all going. Mm. Then you can kind of look and go, okay, well, how can I make changes? How can I kind of tighten up a little bit? How can I, you know, uh, improve my situation? Mm. And this is the thing. I've touched on this before, but ultimately the difference between, you know, poor people and rich people is not necessarily how much money they earn. It's what they do with it. Mm-hmm. And so there's an old saying out there that, you know, you should pay yourself first. And so what most people do is that they, they get the money that they get and they spend on the bills and the, you know, mortgage repayments and, you know, the groceries and all the rest. And then they kind of have a look at this lump sum that's left. And then they just go, great, that's what I'm spending. Yeah, that's know? play money. That's play money let's go let's go for it and the thing is all you're doing is that i suppose in this analogy is you're paying yourself last you're just paying yourself with whatever's left and so you really don't have any scope for you know any kind of planning ahead what really you know uh entrepreneurial people tend to do is that they go okay well i'm going to set aside a certain portion of my income i think 10 percent is a really good benchmark Mm -hmm. like if you can put 10 percent away and then here's the trick. You put that away, mm-hmm. that 10% is strictly not to be touched, right? So even if you want to save up for holidays or you want to save up for, you know, whatever else, yeah, it doesn't come out of that 10%. That 10% is strictly just for making money on that money. Would you recommend if um, your work offers the facility to actually have that direct debited straight away, you don't even see the money? Yeah, you can do it that way. And look, and this is and it's a great question because uh, there's, there's basically two options. If you've got a home loan, then that is a really bad idea. Okay. Right? Um, what is a better idea is, or, or possibly a, a way to kind of tweak it is if you put that direct debit into an offset account so mm-hmm. that whatever money that you're putting in is actually working for you. Before you actually get into debt, before you get a home loan or investment properties and all the rest, the envelope method is what they you know refer to it. It's really easy. It's like you go, okay, I've got an envelope of money that I'm going to put in. That's for the bills and that's for the petrol. Another envelope for you know uh, gr- uh, groceries. Another envelope for you know insurances. Another envelope, and yep. that's a really good system to start off with. To actually you know, um, and then you go, okay, well here's my savings envelope. Mm-hmm. You know. When you've got a home loan, it really doesn't make that much sense because all the money that, you know, and I've seen this before where people have maintained the same system and they'll do one, you know, the minimum repayment to the home loan and then they've got like five different savings accounts, right? And they'll put money, oh, yeah, that's my holiday account and, you know, that's my clothes account and that's my, you know, gifts for Christmas account. And it's, it's like... It all just gets spent. <laughs> yeah. Well, it all gets spent, but mm. all the money that's sitting in there, and I've seen people that have actually been very successful with it and they've got like, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in all these different accounts. The difference is that if they were all in an offset account, mm-hmm. that would be $40,000 worth of interest they would be saving as well on their home loan. Which is a huge amount of money, let's be honest. Well, yeah, and, and and believe me, everything, uh, everything, every little bit counts, you know, and that could mean the difference between paying off your home loan, you know, four or five years faster. It's really good advice, mate, and um, it is one of those things that people don't get on top of, but as you said, it's really important, and they can read all about it in your ebook. Yeah, definitely. Look, get on the website. It's www.chessworkgroup.com.au. 
enter your details. There's a couple of e-books there to choose from, uh, and we'll send it out to you, have a read, and, uh, yeah, look, pretty valuable information uh, from even people who, you know, are investing already. Alex from Chesswork Group, thank you very much, mate. Thank you. That website, once again, is chessworkgroup.com.au. You can download Alex's e-books there and get in contact with him if you do need more info. That wraps up FIFO Life for this Saturday. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you have a great one, and we'll do it again next week.